When you play Fire Emblem, do you ever meet a character late in the story and think to yourself, man, I really wish I could spend more time with him? Maybe a character that was really good and you wish you could use him for longer? Or maybe a character that didn't perform all that well because you just didn't have the opportunity to train him, to turn him into someone worth using? Have you ever wondered how things could have been different? These characters just joined a little bit earlier and for once would be in the spotlight. If you want to know how that would turn out? I've got some good news for you. Hello everyone, I am Mecha, and I'm gonna be playing FE6, Manx's favorite game, so I invited Manx to join me once again. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Gonna meet all my favorite characters. Roy, Marcus, Walt, Alan, Lance, can't wait, it's gonna Corrine, be great. Corrine, it's always fun. Corrine, of yeah. course, of course, yeah. my favorite unit yeah, ever. Yeah, they, 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 they're in the game, I guess. I think. Yeah, I've played Fire Emblem 6 one or twi once or twice. I, I seem to recall them being available. Should yeah. be good. Available is... I, I don't know if that's the word I would use. Because, um, I don't know. It's not really Fire Emblem 6 as you would be used to. It's it's a well, pretty different thing. Well, it's off to a good start. Yeah. It's hard mode. Yeah. That's good. I'm gonna be doing some hard mode. Otherwise, it's just too easy. I'm gonna skip the story. No, not the story! <laughs> and, yeah. It's, um, it's Fire Emblem 6. <laughs> Reverse recruitment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mecca, you picked this mode just to emphasize basis over growth, didn't you? Um, but this may or may not have been my motive. My my <laughs> my public motive for this is that I haven't played it in a long time. I was actually the person who created the first Fire Emblem Reverse Recruitment patch. So wow. if, you're, if you're unfamiliar with it, the concept is that characters that normally join very late join very early. And a character that joined very early, they joined very late. So everyone is reversed in places. So for example, Karel, who you can see right here has 8 HP, so that should tell you something. He... Oh man, I can't <laughs> wait to have a main character that's not sword locked and have bad bases. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> so Karel normally joins last, so this time he joins first. And that also means that the person who joins second to last joins second. So that way you can use all the characters you can normally never really make use of, because they join right before the end. Whereas the Hi, characters Nima. that normally join at the end, they join <laughs> at the beginning. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's a cool yeah. concept. I did it for FE8 first, and then a couple of other people made other patches. Uh, FE6 and 7 were next, of course, because they were the easiest to hack. Uh, but by now, I know for a fact that there is one for FE5 somewhere in the making, might be finished. FE4, Ooh. I've actually played on this channel. Uh, Tiltu as the main lord, main lord, if you don't remember. And it went all the way back when I was with um, was playing with Erisa. And it's also been made for... Let's see, people have theorized it for FE10. I don't think it's been made, but it's really funny. Uh, it's been <laughs> made for FE11, actually, which I consider playing, but I decided to go with this one. And it's also been made for FE12. Two people, two different people actually made them for FE12. So I'm gonna try to find as many as I can and post them in the description. I think this particular one was made by a guy called Paperblade. It might have been remade by General Horus, who gave me the patch that I'm currently using. <laughs> Paperblade, that's what I'm gonna call Carol in this page. <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> Besides that, it's mostly vanilla, but yeah, um, Karel is, um... He has you base stats, you I know guess. What? He's He's almost as good as Nino from your <laughs> from your negative growth run after you leveled her all the way. Down. He has less defense, but everything else is higher, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Paper blade. <laughs> How do you even get kills with this? Uh, he does like one damage to the characters, to the enemies here, which is just enough to get him kills. But it's worth it because. You know, Max told me he knows like all the Fire Emblem Six character growths by heart. And you, do you know Karel's? Not, not by heart, but I know Karel has like something ridiculous, like two hundred percent hit points. His his strength, skill, speed, and luck, and defense and resistance are all above a hundred percent. I know. I think um, it's like 130, 120, 130, 140. I know his defense and rest is one hundred and ten, one hundred. Close. But aside from that, I don't know the specifics now. Yeah, I fair enough. They're really good. It's like 210 HP, 130 strength, 140 skill, 140 speed, 120 luck, and then 110, like you said, defense and resistance. So he's always going to get plus one in every stat that is above 100, and he's always going to get plus two HP. If you're really lucky, he's going to get plus three HP. And if you're also really lucky in the other stats, he's going to get, for example, plus two speed, which which can happen. Mm. It's, it's kind of rare per stats, because if you like subtract 100 from all his growths, 
they don't look all that impressive. But right now, they're, they're actually pretty good, and he's arguably one of the better characters. I have no idea what to rate this guy if it were to like rate him on a <laughs> skill from like bad to good. I don't like the star system to begin with, but for Corel it doesn't make sense because he has such a weird growth curve. <laughs> he just is just super bad at the start and then he goes super good. Well, he, really he snowballs. He snowballs into oblivion yeah, pretty yeah. much. But but here's the question though. Can you promote him with a hero quest? Um, a hero quest? Uh, it, that's been changed depending on the patch. So I haven't played tested this beyond like the first chapter. So I have no Because if you exactly can get how. him to a sword master, he'll be pretty darn yeah. good. Good, but if you have to wait yeah. for if, if you have to wait for a slow ass promotion, then that's gonna make him pretty much as useful as Roy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see, like, if I can't hero quest promote him, I might take some creative measures. I'm not sure, but I will we'll see. Uh, right. Yeah, that's that's Corel, pretty much in a nutshell. Seven attacks, so he he can hurt some enemies. I think. Yeah, you can actually hurt them quite a little bit. <laughs> quite a little. bit. <laughs> You can do like quite four a or five little damage. bit. Yeah. Yay! Uh, so who do you want to talk about next? Go, Let's go with the uh, go with the armor knight. I love balls. <laughs> oh wait, right, that's not balls. That's it's, Douglas. It's balls, it's balls with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually how does his base this? Well, you know what? Zero yeah. speed's not that worse. That's that not. You'll, the only problem is he's gonna get doubled by yeah. everything. And he doesn't take zero times two. He takes significant damage. In fact, I think his bulk is maybe roughly on par with balls on hard mode. So not as bad, but he's so inaccurate that it's not very easy to use him. He might see some use here and there. In the first chapter, yeah. I don't think I'm going to use him for a very long time. The thing about characters like Douglas and most of the people that join early on is they are originally pre-promoted, they've been leveled down. People that... Um, uh, I haven't really elaborated on this, so... Uh, if you replace another character, you don't just join as like... For example, uh, Karel didn't join with his normal bases, that would be ridiculous. He doesn't join with his chapter 24 bases or chapter 23 bases, instead he joins as if he's been leveled down to what Roy would join as, because Roy's like, like with he's negative growths. Yeah, like having negative growths backwards, sort of. Um, I'm not sure what the promotion level is considered. Like you would imagine, <laughs> is that negative backwards forwards? <laughs> 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 so you can imagine if a character was like assumed to be leveled to level 20 and then promoted and then you level that backwards, they would get a lot of negative levels. So I think they've assumed like level 15 promotion. I'm not quite sure, but either way, yeah. it's kind of balanced out so that people don't start like completely unusable, but also so they don't start like super overpowered. And he's still better than balls, I think. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. He's going to get hard. He's going to get top, uh, hit harder in this chapter because he's going to get doubled. Yeah, that's not going to change. <laughs> he's not going to get any faster. He has like a 30% no. speed growth. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would. And physics pre promotes have like very bad growths, which makes them surprisingly good early on because then they they get like less negative levels than the other characters uh, but yeah, they still retain most like, of their good uh, bases so yeah Douglas is like 30% yeah. in most areas isn't he uh yeah in fact you're right he has 20% luck and 5% res and 60% hp but everything else is 30% you're right I'm not going to ask yeah. you to name every character's growth ever but yeah you're you're pretty on the money so far i mean i can't blame you for not knowing the details uh, i guess we'll talk about nomad man next nomad mustache Daya, man. the Did character you never get <laughs> He's pretty, pretty fast at base. He doubles like everything, and he's, you know, he's he's yeah. better than Sue would be in chapter six or something. It's pretty impressive, actually. His growths are garbage, <laughs> yeah, but, of course, but but yeah. his speed growths are atrocious. He has like ten or fifteen percent speed. Yeah, he has fifteen really percent speed. Bad. Yeah, his best really growth is bad. HP at fifty-five, and everything else is twenty or lower. It's it's not going to get anywhere. But you would honestly, I wouldn't even blame you for promoting this person because. Who else are you even going to promote with an Orion's Bolt, right? Because I think people like Walt and Dorothy, they have like the best growths out of all the, all the bow users. They probably join quite late. They probably join as snipers, so... Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Probably the best promotion candidate anyway. I don't know if I'm going to use him, but he is... Uh, he is there, I, I mean, guess. He's good chip he, damage. He's, he's going to double everything on this map, and he's going to deal... If you can give him, like, a steel bow or something, I'm sure his weapon ranks are okay. Yeah, I don't have a steel bow right now. He just has an iron bow, but he, he's pretty fast. He's pretty strong. I don't think he, he does not one round or anything, but he can weaken things. He has 17 cards. aid. Yeah. Uh, He's a I, really good rescuer. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the cool things about nomads in general, or I think like male mounts in general uh, that have like yeah. sort of high comp, but not really. Is they can like lift a lot of people, but they also don't lose a lot of speed. It's not like they're not like Pegasus Knights. They can lift anything, but they also they can like lift other people, but they can't lift weapons very well. So as a result, you know they just they're just kind of. There's not as good as combat as it could be, but they like people like Day and people like uh, I don't know promoted Elliwood for example lift like a lot of people without much trouble. Yep. So, day in fast, not that strong, but good enough for me for early on. Um, 
Yoder, I think the pa <laughs> I think you said you played a patch at one point where Yoder was like replacing Marcus, so he would be the pre promotes, I think, right? Uh, yeah, I thought he was gonna be a bishop. Yeah, well, he is. Uh, he's a priest, so he's just a staff user. His base is I like his 19 res actually. <laughs> it's pretty damn high. <laughs> he has 30 got, base res normally, and his growth. Got is capped, a, yeah, it's got capped res when yeah, he joins. Yeah, yeah, he's 20% really growth, so I guess even like getting 38 negative levels and a deep promotion bonus didn't deter Yodel any. He just he still kept a really good resist resistance growth. I think from this it's probably easiest to calculate exactly how the how everyone's levels were calculated for this. That's yeah, probably something much. the comment section can figure out. Honestly, he's very similar to Ellen, like a shit ton of rests and no defense. Yeah, I actually think he's better than Ellen in a lot of aspects, because he has a 30% yeah. magic growth, which is a little lower than Ellen, but his base is so much better at 4. I think Ellen has like 1 or 2, right? So that's pretty bad. And his speed yeah. is pretty good at base, it's like, uh, it's 8, and his growth is, what is it? It's 10% though. <laughs> that's pretty yes. bad to be, not gonna lie, but Ellen's like 20%, so that's a whole lot better. I don't know, I think... Yoder I doesn't grow in the base games, it's kind of funny that he even has growth. Yeah, that's true. Because he's, ca he's capped when you join when he joins you oh, it's just glad they funny. gave him growth <laughs> glad they gave us something <laughs> i don't know i might just use this guy to warp because warp is pretty good in fe6 and i don't know what i don't know what yet what my alternatives will be uh, i can think of one in particular that i really like but i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna use this guy for early on at least and we'll see if he's worth keeping or not might depend on his level ups a little bit i, I don't know uh, but he can't fight right now which kind of sucks what's his staff rank uh, let's see, I think... Oh, D, actually. But, you know, okay. he joins so early, he can probably make it to uh, a high staff rank. I'm not going to LTC this game, so... Uh, there's plenty of time to raise his staff rank. And then we've got Nimei. <laughs> she is fucking good. Yeah, she is, she is really strong. <laughs> actually, when Here I... he come! <laughs> Do you even lift? <laughs> she loses two speed, yeah. So she has five speed, which is not that good. But she does do, like... She hits once, and then she hits, like, a truck if she does hit. Uh, and her skill is also Holy high enough to hit, shit. I guess. But she, like her durability, though, it's like I think it's lower than base Sophia in vanilla. FPC, so <laughs> yeah, she like... has like a twenty percent hit point growth or something. <laughs> really dumb, man. Well, yeah, so it's twenty five percent hit hit point growth, but her base HP in vanilla is also trash. It's like twenty five HP or something. So with and she's also like really high level in vanilla. She's like level eighteen, so she has a yeah, lot yeah. of negative levels. So, Honestly, this just speaks to Nima's really high basis because yeah. you D level her like 38 times and her bases are still good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think Nima is actually all that great long term because, you know, her magic is great. No. But she's never going to double much with that low. I mean, 7 speed is alright for the first chapter, but yeah, minus 2 from Flux basically yeah. ruins her. And her durability FP6, is so trash, she will uh, never enemies, any phase. Yeah, FP6 enemies level fast too, so that's annoying. Yeah. At the same time, I don't think this game is like an XP cut, so I guess you could level up characters quite a bit. But Nime's growths are also like super trash. Her lowest growth is actually like luck at 5%. Like, damn, <laughs> that's bad. Phase 13, though, so that's okay. Yeah, so you might think that we have like Karel and a bunch of long term scrubs, like units that are sort of useful right now and never again. But, ooh, you haven't seen this one yet. Ooh, this oh, this is my she's favorite. The... Oh, hi there, <laughs> Flying Marcus. So the first. Uh, reverse recruitment patch was FE8, and that was Cyrene joining instead of Seth. So we had like a flying Jagan unit, a flying pre promote, and you know is basically based off of what I did with Cyrene there. She has, I think, a, yeah, it's a silver sword and javelin, so she's more like wow. sword based and lance based, which is really nice in the early chapters because then you can use any sword you like. She can use like killing edge, silver sword, whatever. If you if you just want to one round of things. Uh, but she can also That's use the Iron really Sword good. to weaken things Marcus style, so she's really versatile. She can fly. Her growths are trash, but who cares? Her bases are good enough for right now. She's pretty fast. Your growths are a lot better than most of your other pre-promotes, if I remember correctly. They're like 30 to 40% in most areas. Um, she's so got... For, her defense is pretty low. Her strength is also really low, if I remember correctly. Yeah, she has 35 skill and 30 speed and 45 luck, I guess, but then everything else is pretty trash. Uh, 20 strength. Yeah. Uh, 10 defense, 10 resistance, so I don't know if I would say most areas it's like 50-50. 50, -50. <laughs> 50 yeah. HP is also not very good, but you know, she's durable enough to take, I think, one or two hits from the enemy axes in this chapter, which is enough for me right now. So, um, of course she's a little less bulky than Marcus, so she might still die if I'm careless, like she takes 10 damage from each, uh, but she has pretty good avoid rates. I think Marcus takes like four hits, but she takes three. Because yeah. Marcus isn't. He's pretty tanky. He's got more defense than her, though. Yeah, a little more. I think Marcus is like 10 defense or something. Uh, I'm not sure, though. Anyway, Corel joins with two Iron Swords. So I'm going to give one to Sarine. And <laughs> How like, nice of him. Yeah, he's like very. He's a very generous Sword Saint. You just call her Sarine. Oh, <laughs> she's based on Sarine, damn it. <laughs> I'm going to use her like I use Sarine. I'm just going to put her like. What's funny about the starting squad, you probably never see it, but um, a lot of these characters support with each other. 
Um, I mean, yeah, because they're like in the original they support with each other. I don't think supports yeah. haven't changed. So. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I know that you can support Yoda and Nima, for example, and they got a relatively quick support. Oh yeah, they, you can do it in vanilla, but I'm, I'm they can, you can probably do it in like this game as well. Yeah, that's what I mean. I know oh. people have done. Wow, nice one. I know that people have supported because uh, Dion supports with uh, Yoda. Yoda supports with Nima. I'm pretty sure Douglas supports with someone here as well. So it's kind of funny. It is cool. Like, Unfortunately, FE6 supports generally take forever, but I think the early squad supports pretty fast. I think the, la the later characters have somewhat quicker supports. I think. Don't sort quote me on that, but depends, I think they yeah. have somewhat quicker supports because they join so late. I know there's some late joining support characters that like get really late supports, and it's really annoying me. Um, yeah. I know, that, like for example, some some characters that support with Carol have like horrendously low growth. Yeah, oh. it's just funny because there's like no time. <laughs> Please support. hit. <laughs> Please don't miss. <laughs> I know for a fact I'm gonna turn like I might just I, like I like the music just fine right now. I know for a fact I'm gonna change it at some point and probably just edit out music and put in some of my own because FE6 music goes on forever. It's always this the same particular music. track is used way too much. Na na na. Three, four, five, one, two. Okay, so. Na 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 na. Na na na. I heard you like this tune. Na 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 na. Used okay. so much. Okay, I'm gonna be a bit of a wimp but just hide behind. Oh wow! Did you see Yodo's hair? What's up with it? What the hell? <laughs> it looks like he's like some kind of hairband or something. It's awesome. Jesus Christ! It's so cool. <laughs> That's really one of my funny. favorite things about reverse recruitment hacks is like the the weird palettes. <laughs> That's I remember funny. the FE7 one had like the really whack ones. It had like um, I think Dorcas was for example replaced by Fida, and they kept Dorcas's weird yellow brownish weird colors. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think most of these characters are probably. I mean, uh, I think sure they've been they done fine, actually. Yeah, because uh, I don't think they usually have their own promoter palettes normally. No, but for some reason they're here anyway. Um... I mean, I guess the person who made the patch made sure they were colored properly. Yeah. Anyway, I think I kill this guy with. Um, I'm moving out of the way. Kill this guy. Karel. Yeah, Karel kills the fighter. Uh, and Douglas rescues just... him out of the way, and then I kill the last fighter with. Nime and uh, Dayan or something. I think that's the best way to go about it. Dayan? Dayan, yeah. Dayan? Oh, Dayan! I was yeah. like, Dayan? With Ashnard? Like, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, how do you say it then? Dayan? No, it's... It, I say Dayan, but... Dayan, uh, okay. but oh, that makes but sense. It is, it is a nomadic name, I guess. Yeah, I'd say Dayan sounds so... <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't... At least Please the weapon it. triangle helps him out a little bit. That's nice. Yeah, I imagine if he didn't have like the highest hit weapons. Also, he's not growing that fast. It's like 30 XP per kill, and he can't like ever no. weaken anything. Binding blade experience gains are not that great for like the lower level units. There's a cap, and I think it's 30 or 40 experience. Unless you kill like a, a boss character, then you get a lot. If you could somehow, I'm not sure if Karel will ever be able to one sh one or do damage to the boss since he's on a throne. But if he could, he'd get like a full level out of it okay, for sure. Look at how hard Nima hits, though. Yeah, she is pretty hard, but if she misses, she dies. <laughs> and I can't yeah, attack her is... close with uh, with Dion, so <laughs> she's gonna have to hit. But I think she has 85 hit or so, so it's fine. It's fine. I just realized Roy will be Karel. Yes, <laughs> we're gonna get the Binding Blade user at the very end. I'm not actually I sure mean, who, who uses it. I think Karel's. Won't you get the Binding Blade from the actual Binding Blade event? I think so. Uh, as I said, I never really <laughs> finished this. That'd I be funny, we, actually. It'd be wait, funny if they just allowed Karel to wield the Binding Blade. He's I'd a sword class, after all. I'd love that. Anyway, this is just gonna be the feeding kills to Karel shenanigans squad. <laughs> oh, I just put him in range. Ooh. Yeah, okay. careful. <laughs> Luckily, you got a bunch of units that are really good at rescuing, so it's Yeah, funny. Uh, he's, like, I got one person that's really heavy and then two people on horses, so it's not too hard. But now I lost my opportunity to feed a kill to Karel because I was too busy talking about yeah. some stuff. 30% brain power <laughs> activated. <laughs> the eternal problems of FE LP. Yeah. A game where you have to see. think and then you reduce your brain power. It's and you actually sort of got to think in Fire Emblem 6 hard mode, because Fire Emblem 6 hard mode is pretty hard, actually. Yeah, this is, this is even the hardest chapter. This is, a lot of people wonder why I like this game so much. I like it because it actually provides a very decent challenge, and it doesn't have any elements like grinding or anything that make to like trivialize it. Sure, the difficulty arena, curve is a, li it's a little... Yeah, you can, but here's the thing. If you don't use save states, arenas are scary as shit. They can be. You, I mean, like, suddenly you get a Silver Sword Myrmidon who just one-rounds you. I mean, I've, I've never found the FE 
uh, six arena particularly unfair though. I've always found it like just a normal arena. I know the hectic hard a... mode arena is like really annoying, but I feel like every time I, I get a bit too cocky, um, it just kills me. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you've been betting too high. <laughs> Probably. I do. I do like gambling. So high stakes. High stakes. Yep. High stakes were mistakes. I'm gonna take this kill. Woohoo! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you know, it's just gonna get as as rank of swords. Used to Randall. Be good forever. Hey. How will the um, how will the Sakai Ilya split work in this mode? I think uh, it's it's like with um, with any game that's hacked like this, you have to look at what character slots they are in. So, for example, whoever replaces Shanna is going to count as the first Pegasus Knight. Whoever replaces Tate is going to count as the other Pegasus Knight. That's what I how I believe it will work. So, because it would be funny if it still was Pegasus Knights Nomads, because that means like no, every time not, if you no. use you know too much, you're going to go to Ilya, for example. Yeah. No. I don't know who's gonna join in the next chapter, but whoever joins in place of Shanna, so maybe we can pay attention to the cutscene to see who it is. Do you have a preference for where you want to go? Um, well, I would like to go Ilya because it's easier and I get to spend more time talking instead of being like, oh my god, these nomads are gonna kill me. Yeah, those <laughs> I mean, nomads are really bad. I mean, even though like it's not just a difficulty, I think Saka maps are also more poorly designed. Some Ilya maps are actually interesting. Uh, even it's for funny how you call it Saka. I always said Sake. Yeah, I talk with people that know Japanese too much to call it anything else. Even though like oh really, they call it Saka in Japan. Yeah, I think if you romanize it or whatever you want to call it, it's it should translate to be it's it should like, be translated like, as Saka. Yeah, it's like Saka. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> sake. Sake. <laughs> sake. Yeah, that's actually what I called it the first time around. The Sake. 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 Uh, the Sake people who likes getting drunk. Wow, you're gonna get killed to Karel. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, of course I mean, you could. You know, he's really good at this actually. Yeah, and uh, of course you gotta be careful. Yes, the, Binding Blade the first RNG one is bugged. The first one. Let's go. I'm gonna ignore your pitfall because I got this. Oh, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> I got absolutely yeah. nothing. <laughs> you got two hit points. So that's I mean, good. Yeah, but he, all, he always gets plus two hit points. <laughs> yeah, you got the worst Karel level. I got up, the I worst guess. possible Karel level. Up. <laughs> Even though I'm playing with a character that has positive growths <laughs> that are over 100 or 200 percent, I still get the worst possible level up. To be fair, as I said, they're <laughs> go not back to <laughs> go back to negative growths, my guy. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, they weren't that good as growths, but <laughs> this was like vanilla. If this was a character yeah. that had like. Um, ten percent HP, three percent strength, forty percent skill, etc., etc. I would have gotten nothing, absolutely nothing. Yep, uh, pretty much. I think if I bait this guy, then multiple of them start walking. Yeah. So how how those guys work is that I am pretty sure the the one in front of the boss they move on their own, but uh, the archer will start moving when you enter close to the ruins, if I remember correctly. I think either that or th they are linked with the two in front of the boss, but they have some sort of linked AI. It is some sort of area or linked AI, yeah. Which yeah. is okay. It's, I mean, the rest of the chapter was pretty much bait and switch. Uh, a market joke, yeah. copyrighted term that I really think appropriately describes this kind of difficulty. Uh, all right. But <laughs> I thought I thought Karel had six to three hit. I was like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but it is oh. really scary every time levels up because even though it's like ninety one percent, FE six RNG works just like FE seven and FE eight. It's like two or N, but it's still very scary. Things can go wrong, you know. But, I mean, and like you said in your Pitfalls episode, weapons have lower hit rates. Yeah, like the Iron Sword has like 85 hit, yeah, so... Yeah, I'm happen. pretty sure it has 90 or 95 in FE7? Yeah, it's it's like, generally it's like 5 yeah. or 10% higher in FE7 than in FE6. Yeah, no, yeah no, those guys started moving, they're linked to this fighter, I'm fairly certain, so when you aggro him, not mm -hmm. this, yeah, yeah, when you aggro him, you'll aggro the guys as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to kill the fighter with Karel without dying to the archer, so I might just kill the archer first. Maybe I can lure the archer. Or you could kill the you could just kill the fighter and rescue. Yeah, Can't something you? like it. But I can kill this fighter first at least. That's the yeah. Point. Oof, I'm just waiting for you to miss one of these. <laughs> it would be so fucking fun. I mean, you think about it. I mean, Karel has done like five of these over the course of the chapter, so you think he will have like a pretty high chance of missing at least one. I mean, 91 is like 97, 98 true hit though, so it's technically he should hit a lot before he misses. But then again, you never know. Let's see, 13 attack does 9, and yeah, just, uh, 18 attack does 14, so he does, he, nah, I can't use Diane for both. No. Uh, let's see how bad she does against this archer. Yeah, triple effectiveness, no good. Oh, I love triple effectiveness, though. It's so nice. I get so annoyed every time I play a game that doesn't use triple effectiveness. Just lure them to you, dude. It's fine. Yeah, they're, they're gonna come to me, of course. They will. I know why I'm Don't using you it. I yeah, you're not, what, what's funny is that you're not supposed to have a healer at this stage of the game, which is kind of funny. <laughs> That's true, yeah, you actually only have, I think, like, two or three vulnerabilities total. Yep. 
And uh, well, you get L in the next chapter, but it's still nice to have someone to heal in this one. Oh, yeah. I love, I love how he, he does the same thing Balls does. It's so funny. Oh, okay. Thanks for the, thanks for the tip now. I also use Bales, Balls to visit the village and then I never use him again. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay, so you're saying weaken this guy and then kill with Corel and then rescue? Uh, seems kind of awkward. Um, I don't know. I mean, you could try to just kill the archer, I guess, and then surround the fighter and kill him with Karel. I don't know. Uh, I guess I can kill the fighter in one round. Um, wow, he definitely does like a lot of damage. Uh, kill with Karel and then cover him, I guess. Like if I you could do that. Yuna goes here. Karel goes here. Because the boss doesn't have a ranged weapon. Yeah, he doesn't. He's uh, totally harmless, sort of. Dumbass, the boss. Dumbass. Let's see, does this fighter kill Yodel? Nope. So I guess if I just put people in front of him, it should be okay. Yeah. I guess... yeah, here we'll, here we'll do. I don't think he one-shots any of your other dudes, so... Because Nima and uh, Yoder got pretty good speed. Actually, Nima might, might get one shot. Oh yeah, Nima's got like 40 hit points of zero defense. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna kill... I'm, I'm I know from earlier that um, Dayan miss, plus miss, Nima miss. kills a fighter. So as long as Nima doesn't miss... We should there you go! Good. good level up, let's go. Come on, let's get it. Uh, 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 oh, okay, uh, we got I, plus two speed. Geez, that's good. That's good. That's, that's good. Really good. I think that actually, yeah, it stops him from getting doubled by these guys already. That's really stops good. him from getting doubled by some soldiers, I think. <laughs> <laughs> soldiers can't double in this game, silly mangs. All right, they don't have pursuit. Okay, so if I go here, I can hide Nima behind him if he misses. Um, yeah, but what about Karel though? Um, I don't know. I guess Nima is gonna have to hit then. I forgot Karel yeah. was not part of my wall. He was part of to be walled. I'm not, I'm not used to Mervidons being one at Kyoto. You can put Yoda in front of him, actually, I think. Uh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, and I wonder, uh, how much damage does he do? Iron or steel? He has iron. Then I think Nima survives in the forest. Mm, uh, no, she, I would, no, she doesn't. I would not, no say I would not call this survival, no. But 20 dodge will make it very unlikely. So if you miss this, you can still put Yoda in front of Karel. Yeah, but if I, if, I put, if I put Nima out there, she's just gonna get killed. So there's no use in covering her. So I should just... Either I should you play, should... yeah, I should put Yoda in front of him and just wait. Or... No, go go to the forest. And I mean, she has like a 20% chance to hit her in the forest, it's fine. Or 34, it's really low. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll just go for Gamble, it. gamble, gamble! It is Nime. It is one of I my favorite I need my characters. fix! One of my favorites. Come on, don't miss. It's like a fucking ice Oh, ball. I hate you so much, man. You're the worst. I am never playing a game with you ever again. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> you are the worst. Okay, I hope he's... Yes! You better just attack Pun Yodo or something. Punished! Wait, does, does Yodo survive? Yeah, Yodo survives. Oh it's yeah. Just, Nime doesn't. Oh, I'm I am never kill. playing a game with you ever again. <laughs> Get out. Oh my god. Instantly punished. Instantly punished for listening to Mangs. The number one. <laughs> Hurry up, Douglas. Miss. You're gonna miss the action. Actually, we need to visit the. This I'm guy. the great shield of you. <laughs> <laughs> please miss. Please, please miss. Please. Uh, 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 oh yes. Yeah. Let's go, Nime. Thirty-four percent is ridiculously low, though. Like it's a lot lower than you. Not think. low enough to risk this. Also. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Finding Blade RNG bug! Oh, no, no. Carol can't reach. Mm. Actually, he can. You just gotta move out of the forest. Yeah. Uh, I do gotta weaken him, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That sucks. It's okay. Let's uh, let's try this. <laughs> yeah, she could she could miss one of them, actually. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Come on. there hit, you go! Hit. There you go! There yes. you go! Wow! Pro strats. Wow. And you can... The, word, the best part is Nima can just chop down the boss. Yep. Wait, does she reduce him to, like, really low health? You bumbling idiots. Yeah, she attacks him twice. She's I don't Karel think Karel... I don't think Karel deals damage to this guy, though. Do you think so? He gets three defense from the throne. Wow. I don't think Nima deals damage either. What is either. up with Nima's accuracy? <laughs> Holy shit! Happy 6 RNG is bugged. 97 hit! It's improving. First time I've seen a fighter have crit in Happy 6. Well, I'm just gonna start tripping down the boss. I'll find some way to put him in Corel range. If he, yeah, because he, he can do damage. He oh, come on. <laughs> come you on! Know, you know... Bastard. Oh my God. I know Binding Blade RNG isn't bugged, but holy shit if it doesn't seem like it in the early game. <laughs> I understand the myth. I really do, because it's just... I don't damage. Know. Wow. You can also That's miss and die, so there's that. <laughs> but imagine all the juicy experience he gets from it, though. Oh, I'm, I'm over that. <laughs> Um, oh. I'm gonna try feeding it to Dane, I think. He's like the best kill candidate after all these people. 
Oh, you're not gonna gamble on it? I'm, I'm disappointed with my girl, girl. No, no, no. Gamble, I'm, gamble, I'm, gamble. I will resist your temptations. Don't crit. I need my fix. Don't crit. I think we've all seen Marcus crit this guy. Yeah, it happens surprisingly often, actually. It's probably just, you know, myths. <laughs> you know, if you could get your hands on a light brand, that'd be so good for Corel. I don't think you will. Uh, yeah, you get one in the chest in chapter eight. It's pretty good. It's not, that would allow him to chip at a distance. I, I think at that, so I think at that point though, uh, he's already self-sufficient. Probably. Okay, go, Dayan. Right, time to get this really shitty level up. Let's go. All right, I'll wow. take it. I'll take that any day. Fifty percent speed a... growth. I'll take it. Wow, good job. Doesn't really change the way he works though. He's still, but it'll make him double a little bit more, I guess. Yeah, there's probably some enemies around ten speed that he can now double or something. I'm not complaining. Probably. All right. All right. Holy LTC. Yeah. Fifteen turns. <laughs> probably still gonna S rank tactics. <laughs> probably tactics is so easy to S rank. Sees. <laughs> Hey, what's, right. Roy, what's Roy doing here? <laughs> Get out! It's not your game. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, you're not gonna join yet. All right. All right. Oh, thanks Bye. for watching. If this was your first time. Make sure to stick around, like and subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, we're gonna yeah. have some fun. And check Charles out my other stuff. Charles gonna show. be really good. <laughs> check out my other stuff too. <laughs> Bye. Bye.